Hello children, myself Shilpa. Okay, in the previous class, we are doing the multiplication, right? In today's class also, let us continue the same thing, that is multiplication. Okay, today we are doing exercise 4.1, that is find the product without carrying. So, in this main, we are going to do the multiplication without carrying. Okay, let us start children. See the first sum is 33 multiplied by 2. Okay, for the 33 into 2, you should find the product. Let us see how to do this now. Okay, in the first step, as I told you in the previous class, the first step, you have to multiply the ones place children. Okay. So, how you are going to multiply? See, the number both you can see in the ones place is 3 and 2. Right? So, you have to multiply 3 ones by 2. In the first step. Okay? So, 2 into 3. 2 threes are how much? 6. So, this 6 you are going to write in the ones place. Okay, now we got 6 in the ones place. That is 2, 3 is a 6. Okay, so in the second step, you are going to multiply the tens place. So in the tens place, you can see the number 3. That is 3 multiplied by 2. Okay, so 3 tens into 2. How much? 2, 3 is a 6. Okay, this one. 2, 3 is a 6. So, we got the answer 6. That is in the tens place. We are going to write 6. So, the product is 33 into 2 is 66. Okay. This 33, we call it as multiplicate. The 2, we call it as multiplier. And the result, what we will get, it is the product, that is 66. What? Okay, one more sum let us do now. Here we can see 12 into 4. Okay, we should multiply the 12 by 4 here. The first step, you are going to multiply the, you are going to multiply the ones place, that is 2 and 4. Okay, so 4 to the how much? 4 to the 8. The first steps you have finished. That is ones place we have completed. Now we want to multiply the tens place. In the tens place we can see the number 110. Okay, this 110 we have to multiply by 4. That is 4 ones are 4. Where you have to write that 4? Yes. As we are doing in the tens place, we are multiplying. So, the answer we are going to write in the tens place. That is 4 ones are 4. Understood? Okay, let us move for the next sum. That is 10. 1 0 10 into 8. Okay, so first we have to multiply the ones place. That is 8 zeros are. 8 zeros are how much? 8 zeros are 0. Anything multiplied with the 0, you will get 0 as the answer. Okay. Next, we are going to multiply the tens place. That is 8 ones are 8. This is your second step. 8 ones are 8. Okay. Understood? Understood how to multiply without carrying? Excellent. Now, let us move for the next name. That is, you have to multiply the following by carrying. Means, with carrying, you are going to find the product. Okay. The first one is 32. You have to multiply by 7. Okay, same method we are going to follow. First, we are going to multiply the 
ones place. Okay, so what we can see the number in the ones place? Two, seven. Okay, so you are going to multiply seven to the. So seven to the how much? Seven to the fourteen. Okay, seven to the fourteen. Children, this you are going to write this four in the ones place. Okay, that is one ten four ones. Okay, this one. What you are doing? This one. This you are going to give the carry in the tens place. Okay, understood. Seven two is a fourteen. You got this four ones. We are writing in the ones place. This is a tens one ten. So we are writing that in the ones place as the carry over. Got it. In the second step, we are going to multiply the tens place. What is there in the tens place? Three. So three you have to multiply with by seven. Okay. So seven three zero. Seven three zero. Seven three zero. How much? Seven three zero. Twenty one. Twenty one. Okay, so after getting this, what you have to do here, we can see one in the tens place. So you are going to add this one for this twenty one. So twenty one plus one, twenty two. So here we are going to write two in the tens place and this two in the hundred place. Okay, so two hundred and twenty-four. You got the product. Understood, children? Yes. Let us do one more sum with carry. Okay, what the question you can see here? Twenty-five multiplied by eighty. Sorry, eight. Twenty-five multiplied by eight. Okay. So how for? What is the first step you have to follow in this? You have to multiply the ones place. Okay, so eight five is wrong. So ones place five you can see no five. You have to multiply by eight. So eight five is wrong. Eight into five. Eight five is wrong. Forty. Right. So here zero you can see you should write in the ones place. Four you should write in the tens. Okay, here zero in the ones place. This four you have to give the carry over in the tens place. Okay, this is the first step. So in the next, you are going to multiply the tens. Okay, what number you can see in the tens place? Two. Okay, you have to multiply two by eight. That is. Eight into two. Eight two is a. Eight two is a sixteen. Eight two is a sixteen, right? So sixteen plus this carry over. You should add for this sixteen. So what is the carry over number here? Four. So sixteen plus four. How much? Twenty. Sixteen plus four, twenty. Okay, so zero you are going to write in the tens place and two in the hundred place. So twenty-five multiplied by eight, the product is two hundred. Okay. Okay, one more sum. Let us do now. Okay. So here, what number you can see in the tens place? Actually, what is the number you can see here? Fifty-nine. You have to multiply by three, right? So in the ones place, what number you are going to see? There's nine and three. So you have to multiply nine ones by three in the first step. So three nine zero. Three nine zero. Twenty-seven. 
right so seven you are going to write in the ones place this 220 that is in the tens place you are writing as carry over 2 in the tens place okay now second step you have to multiply the tens place that is 5 tens you have to multiply by 3 so 3 into 5 3 into 5 3 5 is a 3 5 is a how much 15 3 5 is a 15. Okay. So 15. Here we can see the carry over. Plus 2 is there. So we have to add the 2 for the 15. 15 plus 2. What answer you will get? 17. Okay. So here 7 in the tens place. 1 in the hundreds place. Okay children. So, we got the product 177. When we multiply 59 by 3, so we will get the product 177. Okay, I hope you understood this. Now, let us move for the next one. Yes, children, no word problem, we will do. Okay, the first one is there are 43 students in each section of class 2. So, what do you mean by this? There are 43 students in class 2. Okay. So, there are 43 students in each section. Each section means in one section there are 43 students. Okay. In class 2. So, find the number of students in 4 sections together. So, what we have to find here? We have to find the number of students for four sections in class 2. Okay. In one class, there are 43 students in one section. Okay. In class 2, one section, there are 43 students. So, we have to find the number of students in four sections. Okay. See, the statement is number of students in one section. So, how you have to write? You should write the statement first. Number of students in one section. So, that is 43. Okay. Next, number of sections. So, how many sections are there? Four. See, four sections. So, number of sections are 4. So, what you have to do? You have to multiply to find the number of students. That is 43 students in one section like that 4 section. So, into 4. 43 multiplied by 4. Okay. 4 3 is a 12. See how 4 3 is a 12. 1 carry over. Okay. So, 4 4 is a 16. 16 plus this carry over 1, 17. Got it? So, we got the product here, 172. What is this? These are the numbers of student. We find in 4 sections. Okay. So, 172. So, therefore... Number of students in 4 section is 4 into 43 that is 172. Okay. Understood children? Yes. Like this we will do one more sum. One more word problem. The question is a school bus carries 73 students. So that means a school bus is carrying 73 students. How many students can three buses carry all together? So in one bus, 73 students. So like that we are going to 
find how many students are there in three buses. Okay, how many students are there in three buses? So here, number of students in one bus. Okay, how much? Seventy-three. Okay, now number of buses. How many buses? Three buses. So what we have to find here? Total number of students in three buses. So that is 73 multiplied by 3. 73 into 3. Shall we multiply and see what the answer we will get now? 3 3 is on. 9. 3 7 is on. 21. Okay, so how many students in 3 buses? 219. Therefore, number of students in 3 buses is equal to 73 into 2, that is 219. 219. 219. Understood, children? So, how to write this? Number of students in one bus. That is 73 students. Number of buses. 3 buses. So, therefore, number of students in 3 buses is equal to 73 into 3. That is 219. Okay? I hope you understood, children. Okay. Now, let us... Do the next me. Okay. Excellent. Now let us move for the next me. That is multiplication of three digit number by one digit number. So you have to learn the multiplication of three digit number by one digit number. For example, you have to find 122 multiplied by 3. What the answer we are going to get. Okay. Here three digits number. By one digit number we are going to multiply. Okay. The first step to do this is. You have to write 120, 32. 132 into 3. So here in the first step we are going to multiply the one place. That is 2 by Okay, two ones by three we are going to multiply. That is the step one. So three twos are how much? Six. Okay, so two ones into three, that is three into two, three twos are six. Once we go the answer. Okay, so we are writing six in the ones place. Here we have done with the first step. Now, in the second step, we are going to multiply the tens place. In tens place, we can see the number 3. Okay. This 3 tens, we are going to multiply with 3. This is the multiplier. 3 is the multiplier. So, we are going to multiply this 3 tens by 3. So, 3 3 is a 9. So, that we are multiplying in the tens place. This 9 we are going to write in the tens place. Okay. 3, 3 is a 9. See this one. In the first step we have multiplied with the ones place. So in the second step we are multiplying the tens place. 3, 3 is a 9. So we have written this 9 in the tens place. Okay. Next step, that is in the third step, we are multiplying the hundred place. In hundred place, we can see the number one. Okay, this one hundred, we are going to multiply with three. Okay, so three ones are three. So this three, we are multiplying to the hundred place. So we are writing the three in the hundred place. Okay, 132. 
Okay, first step we have multiplied only once. Here, second step, tens place we have multiplied. The third step we have multiplied the hundred place. Okay, so now we got the answer. The product we got in this is in the tens place that is three two is a six, three three is a nine, three one is a three. Okay, so the answer is one hundred thirty two multiplied by three. The product we got is three hundred and ninety six. So we will move for the exercise four point two. That is find the product. Okay, you should find the product. So the first question is one hundred and twenty one into three. Okay, this one we are doing without carrying. Okay, one hundred and twenty one. You have to multiply by three. So the first step we are going to do the ones place. That is three ones are three. Okay, ones place we have done. Next tens place three twos are six. Six tens. Okay, now hundred place one is there. So three one hundred into three. Three ones are three. So three hundred. Three hundred and sixty-three is your product. Okay, one more sum. Let us see. Two hundred and thirty-four into two. Okay, what you have to do now first? Ones place we are going to multiply. That is four ones by two. Two fours are eight ones. Eight ones. Next, we are moving for the tens place. We are having three tens. So three tens multiply by two. Two threes are six. That is six tens. Okay. Next, in hundred place, we are having the number two. So two hundred multiply by two. Two twos are four. Four hundred. Got children. Two hundred and thirty-four multiply by two. The product is four hundred and sixty-eight. Okay. Now let us do one more sum. That is one hundred and one multiply by seven. So in ones place we can see one. One ones multiply by seven. That is seven ones are seven. Okay. In the tens place, we are seeing the number zero. That is zero tens. Okay, so zero tens multiply by seven. Seven zeros are zero. That is zero tens. Okay. In the hundred place, we are seeing the one. One hundred. So one hundred multiply by seven. Seven ones are seven. So seven hundred. Seven hundred and seven. We got the product. Okay, yes, children. I hope you understood this. Okay, we will do the next main in the next class. Thank you.